Hi everyone. I want to tell you something that's really serious for these very last days. That just um, something that occurred to me, according to Scripture, how clever the devil is, and just an example of how bad he does not want you to see the kingdom of God because he's not going there. Remember how much he hates you. He hates your guts. He hates my guts. The devil hates. That's all he knows how to do is to hate. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Well, think of that scripture. Love not the world, nor the things of the world. For if you love the world and the things of this world, then the love of the Father is not in you. Hmm. So what would the devil want to say about that scripture? I know exactly what he wants to do with that one. What he did do already, he got everybody who he could, and he's still trying to now, to love the world. For example, think of Disney World. Everybody loves Disney World. Once you've been there, you have a lot to say about how awesome it is. I've been there a few times. It's an awesome place until you know Jesus. And then you just know, you just know how clever the devil really is. He made an awesome place for the world to love. He made it twice, once in California, actually more than that, once in Florida. And I think there's actually more, one or two more somewhere around the world, but places like Disney. And then we have our own private Disney lives in our own fun worlds. And it's time to let go of all the fun, so-called fun, that you're having in this world. And grab hold of Jesus. Grab hold of him and don't let him go. You have to let go of the world. Now, if you want to see the kingdom of God, you cannot be a friend of this world. If you are a friend of the world, you're at, en you're at enmity with God. This is very serious for your, your eternal destination. Your very soul is in danger if you are choosing this world over loving Jesus. You must put Jesus far above all things of this world. Please, call on Jesus so you too will be saved from what is coming. God's judgment is about to pour out on this earth. As soon as the rapture takes place, things are going to change instantly. God is a loving and just God. He's all loving, yes. And because of his great and mighty love, he has to judge. He has to bring justice. He has to punish and he has to pour out his wrath to show everyone that he is God and we are nothing without him. Please do not fall prey to the enemy any longer. We've all been guilty of it. Now please call on Jesus once and for all. It's time. Everything you need was accomplished at the cross of Jesus Christ when he poured out his precious blood on that cross for our sins. He said, it is finished. And he took his last breath. Don't add anything to that or take anything away from what he did for us on the cross. Because then you're saying what he did was not enough. Or that you need to do more. No, no, no. We are saved by grace through faith. Not of works. It is a gift of God. Not of ourselves. At least any man could boast. That's important to understand. Our salvation is the most important thing that we need in this world so we can let go of the world and say goodbye to be in eternal heaven forever with Jesus. Okay, you guys, pray about that and make sure you repent of all your sins and ask Jesus to forgive you. God loves you. Be blessed. And we'll see you soon.